Now that we have learned how to build a basic world in Rebots, adding objects to it and change their appearance, we will understand how collisions and physics work. When you look at the objects in the environment, you will see that most of them have a white outline, if you want, like the arena here and the EPUC robot. What this is, is the bounding box that Webots is using internally for computing whether a collision between two objects exists. The block that we have just added here doesn't have such a bounding object and indeed it is uh, still zero um, a null in the scene tree. One way to add a bounding object is to add a shape and what we can do is we can actually recycle the shape that we have already um, defined here which is the box geometry and we call this shape box and now we can insert a bounding object and now we can either choose a shape from the base nodes or we can actually use the object that we just defined which you find here. Now you can see also this cube has a bounding object which matches its appearance perfectly. This is not the case for the EPUC which is actually a very complex geometry but the designers have chosen to model it with a simple cylinder as a bounding object which will facilitate the computation of collisions. Alright, so now that we understand the bounding objects which will prevent the robot from actually just driving through the box but running against it, we need to understand one more concept which is physics. In Rebots, physics is used to actually simulate how the wheels of the EPUC robot transfer forces on the ground and then make the robot move forward. So if you do not have a physics node, something like the robot wouldn't work. Uh, you can try deleting the physics um, node here and you will find that the robot will just spin its wheels in the air and not move anywhere. Now we can also add physics to an object like this solid here. And in order to do that, we press add in the physics node and use the physics from the base nodes. And now we have the ability to provide a density or a mass. In this case, what we want to do is we want to provide a mass like 0.1 kilogram. And now we can set the density to infinity or actually have it computed by the mass of the object. Now, once we press play, you see physics takes its course and um, the robot started to move or shake because it actually landed on the ground. And now we can use on Apple, it's the option key and drag elements and provide forces. And then once you apply a sufficient force, you will see that you are able to actually make the object move like this.